This tutorial is brought to you by flbeattutorials.com. In today's tutorial, I want to focus on how you can get really hard hitting kicks that that really slam and uh you know you get some sub from them, but you also get a very hard punchy sounding kick. So uh what we're going to do today, uh we're starting out with a very basic small sounding uh kick. So let me show you what we have right now. So as you can hear, very thin kick, uh, not a lot to it, and uh, we really want to enhance this and, uh, you know, make it punchy, add some sub low into it, and uh, so let's uh, get right into it. So the first thing I'm going to do, and uh, just to, to let you know, I'm going to do this at a very beginner level, we're going to use some presets, and uh, we're not going to get too in-depth in what we're actually doing or you know focusing on uh how to perfect this this is going to be very beginner and uh like i said we're going to use some presets and uh just kind of get you in the right direction for right now so so let's get right into it and the first thing we're going to do is uh assign this kick to a mixer track and um so i'm going to come here and i got this and i'm going to do Control L, and I have now assigned the kick to channel two on my mixer. And the first thing I want to do is add a fruity compressor. So I have that here, and uh, what I want to do is come in here, and the preset we're going to use is drums. You can see the changes it made here. So let's go ahead and listen to what we have now. Okay, without the compressor, with it. All right, so you can already see we're getting a lot more punch from that sample. Um, and if you listen closely, this sample also has an ugly high-end frequency that we're going to get rid of later. And uh, just so you know, you can tell that the compressor also enhanced that. So let's listen to the original. So you can still hear that frequency, but you turn on the compressor and it really maximizes it. And that's one thing you should know about a compressor is uh, it's going to make even the, the ugly sounds come out. So, um, you know, you got to be careful with compression, possibly uh, maybe EQ before you hit the compressor to get rid of that high frequency first. But... In this case, we're going to leave it in there for now because we're we're working on getting punchy, uh, hard-hitting kicks right now. So let's leave that in there for now. And uh, the next thing I want to introduce to you, if you haven't heard of it before, is the the Sound Goodizer, which is in FL Studio. And so we're going to put that on here. And uh, we're going to use the preset A for right now. And uh, let's take a listen to that now. So you can tell there's a huge boost on our, our kick right now. Uh, and basically the sound goodizer is giving it um, some more compression. And kind of changing the tonality of the kick. Okay, so we have that now. So the next thing I want to do is uh, go ahead and uh, add in our EQ. So we're going to add the Fruity Parametric EQ2. And if you go into Presets and choose, I'm going to choose this 30 hertz plus 18 hertz cut. And that's just going to give me a, uh, basically right now that's saying anything that's uh, in between here is going to stay in. But anything less than 30 hertz, it's going to cut. And anything above 18K is going to cut. But... That's not what we're going to do. Um, that's just to get this in here. And I'm going to leave this at 30, 30 hertz because that's where we want it. But I'm going to bring the 18K well over. 
Now you can hear as I did that, that nasty high frequency went away. See, there it is. And we're taking it out. And you can see each time the kick hits, this lights up and shows you where that, ki that kick is hitting on the, so you can see that in the EQ. So you just want to slide that out and uh, leave everything in there you want. Um, you can really adjust this how you want it. You may want to take it all the way down to like 100 hertz, but I'm going to leave it. I'm going to bring it down to about right here. Okay, so now we've already taken our basic kick, and here it is before everything. Okay, now let's add them back in. Okay, so we're not done yet. Another thing I want to show you is uh, how you can add an 808 to uh, enhance your kick sub bass frequencies and uh, really add an extra bit of punch that you're going to hear in uh, the subwoofer. So I have an 808 that I've added here, and uh, this is just it, uh, nothing on it, just uh, basic 808 with the kick. And here's that 808 soloed. Now, when you add an 808 to a kick, unless you're going for that specific sound, I would recommend actually uh, dropping the pitch of this 808 so, because I'm only trying to add some sub to my kick. I'm not trying to, to make a strong 808 for this. I just want to make a real punchy kick that has some sub in it. So in this case, I'm going to send this to the piano roll and I'm going to drop it in octave. So now you can hear that 808 is strictly just sub bass. So basically I'm just adding some sub low in to my kicks. Now with the 808 I also want to do some processing. So I'm going to go ahead and solo it. And uh, let's assign it to a free mixer track here, control L. And we have it here on uh, number five. So let's go ahead and add the sound goodizer to this as well. thing I want to do to this 808 is I just want to get rid of all the frequencies I don't need so again go into your parametric EQ throw in the preset 30 Hertz plus 18 K Hertz cut and go ahead and play it now I'm just gonna bring this all the way over And in this case, I'm going to bring it over to about 90 hertz. So I just want the sub of this thing. So I'm going to leave everything between 30 and 90 hertz. So you're just getting the sub there. So now you put those two blended together and you get this. So you get a very punchy kick, but you also get something that's going to be pushing your subs and it may not be real noticeable on uh you know a lot of speakers but when you get in there and uh you got a good system uh with uh with some nice subs it's really going to make your kick punch through really deep and that's what you want um and just to show you example of these kicks in a, a beat i got a simple little pattern here in uh pattern two that will play Got to drop this an octave here.
Okay. And unsolo everything. All right, here we go. Thanks so much for watching. If uh, you liked it, give us a like, uh, subscribe, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.